Greetings party peeps, welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're gonna be doing something different today. We're not gonna be eating a Streets Vionetta, but it is still technically an eating video, just not of the Vionetta variety. In fact, we go on the exact opposite end of the spectrum, hot food. Today, we're gonna to be trying out the 4 and 20 Chili Beef Traveler Pie. Now, full disclosure, you can get these from all Ampol stations but I got this from work because Jonathan Brown, three-time premiership Brisbane Lion, brought a whole stack in. Sounds like a weird endorsement, and it kind of is, but that's exactly what happened. And this knocked Brownie's socks off. Jonathan Brown. I just had the chili beef pie. Look at his head. He's gone red. His head's gone red. It's got plenty of bite. Now, I already had one of these at the office, but I was warned by Toby McKinnon from Trot's Life on SEN Track that it would probably be a bad idea to have one of these. Jonathan. It's gonna be hot. Okay. It's even spicy. But here's the thing, I'm Sri Lankan, I love my hot food. In fact, I have hot food almost every single week when I go around to my parents' house, so I figured I could deal with it. This knocked the absolute socks out of me. But the thing is, it says on the back, that you can actually heat it in the microwave, which is what I did at work. Didn't put it in the pie warmer, I just zapped it in the microwave. And I thought that maybe the microwave is what gave its added hotness. So I decided to give it another go. So for those playing at home, the chili beef pie, the description of it says, 100% Australian beef with beans, spiced with extreme levels of chili wrapped in golden pastry. Upon eating it, there's actually some corn in there as well. And it does say on the pack, warning extreme heat. So I put it in the air fryer. I don't care what the debate says. There is no debate as far as I'm concerned. Sauce goes in the fridge. It even says refrigerate after opening. But anyway, yeah, once open, store refrigerated below four degrees. That's, that's a topic for another video. Give this a crack. Mm. The heat's already kicked in. Oh, oh, blimey. It's a lot better when it's not put in the microwave. It's still good. Full disclosure. <clears throat> Last time I had this, I was sweating like a gypsy with a mortgage to the point where Nathan Buckley actually um, said I should be ashamed because I'm Sri Lankan and I should be used to the heat. But like I said, Jonathan Brown found this really hot. Can you see that corn? See? It's corn. Much, much more tolerable than last time. Does say 3% corn. Here's where the heat kicks in. Sweating, but a bit of, bit of sweat on the dome. Is there any? I don't know. All right. Wow. So, there's chili, jalapeno, chili flakes, crushed chili, chili powder, capsicum. A bit of a chili in this. Anyway. Not bad. 
as you can see, I'm not like, oh, I need, need milk, need milk. So don't microwave it. If you're driving around, want a bit of kick in you, you pass an ampoule, I'd heartily recommend it. Try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think in the comments. And um, if you like the offerings on my YouTube channel, I've got plenty more here. Train videos, wrestling videos, video game videos. Yeah, well, it's a whole heap of miscellaneous, but if you like what you see, oh, and wrestling. No, I said wrestling. Anyway, like, subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time here on my YouTube channel.